Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm gonna do a video on how to optimize your Windows 11 for gaming. Uh, currently I'm using a second computer, so I don't have all the options that uh, you can't use on Windows 11. And uh, that's why my sound seems a little bit different also, and that's why my Windows is still not activated. So, first of all, let's go with the Windows icon click setting the first thing that you really need to do is go to windows update and press the checks for update for the first year honestly they will probably push a lot of update uh for, that's why i i'm not doing this video on my main pc i always uh wait a year after uh, a release of windows because i don't want to deal with crash bug and stuff like that so that's why i'm gonna stay for on windows 10 for now but really important when you have a new uh, uh windows like that just make your update it's it will help you a lot Another thing that I recommend is uh, go on the, the website of your video card. So AMD, NVIDIA or Intel, download the latest driver and also on your computer, um, your um, uh, motherboard, go uh, if, for example, if you have a gigabyte, go on the website, download the latest like chipset, download the latest BIOS and stuff like that. You really need to make sure that everything is up to date if you want to run Windows 11 correctly. So let's start with some options. So the first one will be the mouse. I know a lot of people is asking question about it. So right mouse in your search, go to mouse, go to additional mouse setting and go to pointer option. In the NN's pointer precision, you want to uncheck this. This is creating, uh, this is create, this option, sorry, create acceleration on your mouse. You don't want that when you game and then when you play a first person shooter, so you need to uncheck this for now i'm using it because i'm using a trackpad to make this video i don't know so that's why i'm using it but on my main computer is unchecked you don't want to use this option another thing that i recommend is press Control alt delete go to your task manager go to your start startup and make sure that you don't have some random software that are currently open uh, when you boot your computer. So you see here, everything is disabled because, you know, I want to make uh, this video. But uh, when you install um, after like six months, a year, you have different launcher and stuff like that. This is a quick way that you can just disable those one. Uh, and you just want to put at enable the one that you want to use when you launch your computer. So it can help when you don't have a lot of RAM and not a, like a lot of like resources on your computer. So yeah, this is a, a quick trick that I can tell you. We're going to go back to the settings. So now gaming, we have a new option called gaming on Windows 10, uh, 11. Sorry, we have three different options here. The first one is the game bar. I still don't recommend to activate the game bar. I did a couple of tests. I'm getting some glitch crashes and stuff like that. Maybe it's related to my video card, but not a big fan of the Xbox game bar for now. So that's why I'm putting this one at off. For capture, everything is at off also. I don't recommend to use that. And even on Windows 10, I was I will I was telling you guys to disable it. But for the game mode, re game mode, I recommend to use it. It's really good for the past six months. They 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 fix a lot of issue with stuttering. Uh, it was calling causing some stuttering and input lag. So now it's really good. Just use it. And we have a new option called graphic. So this is pretty cool. You have all the stuff that uh, are compatible or, and install on your computer. For example, Netflix. You click on it, you click option, and now you can put as a setting high performance and you're gonna make sure that you're gonna run this app with uh, an hardware acceleration, so my video card. So that's really cool because you can do that for all your game. Make sure that you're running high performance for your video card on that game specific game and also it will help people with laptops because sometimes I, I saw a lot of people that they were using the integrated video card when they was like playing a game and they had like a 1050 GTX on their computer and then they didn't know like why they were running on the integrated GPU. So this is a nice way for each software independently you can say run high performance. So really cool new feature uh, that you can do with that. Another thing that I recommend is write performance here and go to
Another thing that I recommend is write performance here and click adjust the appearance of your Windows performance. As you see here, um, Windows choose the best for my computer, but you can say, for example, adjust for best performance and you will remove a lot of like effect, uh, animation and stuff like that, that can slow down your computer. This is more like if you have a really old computer and you're struggling to run like Windows and your games, but, uh, and also if you don't like those effects, you can definitely uh, change it. If you like those effects, you can also change, ch choose the best appearance, but for performance, go with this one. So me, I'm gonna back with the default version. So that's about it. Another thing that I recommend in this system, go to power here and you have the power mode feature uh, here. It's a little bit different than uh, than Windows 10. You got three different options for now. I recommend balance or so best performance. It really depends on your computer. For me, it's a bit weird on my Ryzen processor. Balance is, is a little bit better. Uh, it generates less heat, so I'm getting better boost clock than best performance performance so look at this but normally you will not see a big difference it's like one to three percent difference in your fps but don't game with power efficiency for sure um power efficiency it's good like if you're uh you're using a laptop and you're running on your battery you don't want to like tank your battery but make sure when you're using a laptop and you plug in the wall you're gonna use balance or best performance to make sure that you're uh using the max performance of your computer we're gonna go back to system now display so display i recommend first of all the display resolution should be your native resolution so make sure that you're using native here after that go to advanced and this one is really important it's your refresh rate i know a lot of people they're buying like a 144 hertz screen and they're still like 60 on windows so they don't use it so really important click on the drop down and select the best uh hertz for you and the, the one that is compatible with your uh, computer uh, your monitor and you will have an, a lot of different uh, option here that can help you a little bit like your bit depth because i know a lot of like new uh, monitor they're compatible with 10 bit and people don't know if it's activated or not because sometimes it's depending on which cable that you're using and different variation your drivers and stuff like that so here i'm getting my bit depth i'm getting my color format 444 so i know what currently i'm using so that's a really cool uh option and you see it after that the hdr here i can't show you the new feature uh, so it's pro it, it's here in, in display ca ca capabilities you click on here you're gonna make sure that uh, HDR video is activated use HDR it's activated and you will have an option called auto HDR I recommend also to check it if you want uh, the thing with HDR sometimes it's like when you activate HDR for Windows before uh, and you add like SDR content the SDR content doesn't look good and now with auto HDR it will help you a lot they will apply an HDR on it I did a test on my other computer before that I was <laughs> that I format and I just reinstalled Windows 10. Uh, it looks good, honestly. And on my Xbox Series X, uh, Auto HDR is really good for video games. So I'm not too convinced for the old experience on Windows, but for video games, it's working very well. So we're going to do a couple of things now just to close this video. So we're gonna go in your this PC. Uh, so on your drive, right click on your drive, go to properties. Uh, you have an option called disk cleanup. So I recommend like after installing all your stuff, just do a small cleanup here. Um, you have another option called cleanup system file. I also recommend to click it after you will do your upgrade. So for example, you upgrade Windows 10 to Windows 11 and you click cleanup system file. You will clean up a lot of file that's coming from your uh, build from uh, Windows 10. Uh, it really depends do you, if you want to keep your old Windows or not, uh, because sometimes you can like just uh, use stuff that you want to use or just roll back or whatever. But uh, if you don't have a lot of space on your drive, this is the way to erase it. So you press OK, you press delete file and everything will be clean. So after that, uh, one more thing, it's in tools. You have uh, optimize and defragment drive. So click optimize. So you will, you will have two options here. If you have an SSD, you just have the optimize uh, option. If you have a mechanical drive, like an old school drive, you will have defragmentation. I recommend to do that like 
uh, for an example for the ssd one time a month it's pretty fast you click optimize it will trim and now it's good so you just press ok ok here and you're fine so this is pretty much it guys i'm gonna look at my note quickly yeah we did uh, we did everything so this is pretty much it for windows 11 uh, if you have any question just come in in the youtube section post me like your rig uh, what type of issue that you have like really important update everything and for the next three month update everything like each two days you will see a lot of like uh, uh software drivers that will come out to make sure that uh, it's more stable and faster so really important to look at this and don't forget to subscribe to the channel peace